Hello and welcome to my channel. This is C Shop, the first video of the channel, which is going to be an introduction to Visual Studio. Basically, this introduction works for Visual Studio 2008, 10, 12, and 13. So, if you have any of those installed in your computer, then you can be able to watch the video and um, be enlightened on Visual Studio. So, basically, what the channel C Sharp is going to be about is basically going to be about tutorials, um, learning about Visual Studio, how to write code, how to function, um, controls, properties, basically the whole nine, right? Um, this right here is called a startup page. So, once you've downloaded Visual Studio, whichever you choose to download, you're going to get a page like this. And this page is known as the startup page, right? And um, basically, you're given shortcuts by Visual Studio so they make your work easier and they the three main shortcuts they give you are connect to team foundation server which is if you have a project a team project in terms of you're working in a business and um, you're creating a software you can be able to um, connect to the team so that, that's what this does and we have a new project new project um, comes in when you want to create a new program like you've come up with a new idea or something you want to try, you just you can click on that. Or if you want to open um, a project you've been using or been doing, you can click on open project. But um, if you don't have those, you can just go to file and click on new. Since we want to start a new project, let's click on new and project. All right? And we wait for that to load. And once that loads, we'll give it um options in this recent templates install templates so once you've installed visual studio you should be gi given these all right and we don't want to use visual C, C++ what we want is um, to go to other languages expand that um, we don't want visual basic we write code in visual C sharp all right so click on visual C sharp and we write code for Windows forms application so click on Windows forms application and we'll change the name all right this changes the name of the project and we'll call it um, first C sharp right? and once we click OK um, the program should run and then we should be taken to uh, this page right here right? so once we create a new project whenever you create a new project you're in Windows Forms application um, known as WinForms you're given this page and this is known as a window right? so you can resize your window. Or, um, we're going to learn all of that, all right? And then we are given a toolbox, all right? If your toolbox isn't where mine is right now, if your, if your toolbox isn't here, you should you could just go to view. Once you go to view, you'll find your toolbox right there, okay? Or you can just use the um, shortcut Control Alt X. So we'll just click on that. And basically, what the toolbox has is controls. And what a control is, is like a button, um, a text box, a checkbox, all these are called controls. So as you we go on and we're going to be making programs, we're going to be using controls. And in those controls, we're going to write code. All right. And then we, we have the server explorer. Again, if your server explorer isn't where mine is, you can just go back to view and you'll have it in other windows and you can click on server explorer or just should use a shortcut control alt s so once i click on that um basically what the server explorer is is the database like once you um are trying to create a program that uses a database where you're going to store data I'm sure you already know what a database is you're going to have it in the server explorer and you're going to um, have one of these so as time goes goes by, we're gonna see how to create a database and link it or connect it to our project. Okay, now we can go to properties. Again, if your property isn't where mine is right now, you can just go back to view, and um, your properties should be in other windows. And properties window is right there, or you can just use the shortcut Alt Enter. Okay, and in properties we have um, based on where you've selected like right now we have selected on our window right there we clicked on the window and we are given the properties of that window like the name of the window which is right here this is the name of the window the name that we're going to be using when we <coughs> write code okay so we'll be referring to this name 
so if you change that name be sure to remember what name you change it to okay and then we have the text the text basically means the name of your program or the name of your window or your control okay so we can change that name if you'd like to you can let um, C sharp once we click enter we see that the name changes all right and basically properties has all of those things like you can be able to customize your your window however you'd like um, you can um, set, you can remove the icon and so on and so forth. So just go through that. It's basically self-explanatory. So you can just see like maximize box um, means like when you load the program, you're able to maximize it because it's set to true. So just go through your properties and you'll be able to understand what they mean. All right. And you, even if you don't understand, um, we're going to learn about them all. Okay. And then we have um, Solution Explorer. Again, you can just go to View if your Solution Explorer is in one minus. You should have it right there, or you can click on Control Alt L. Okay. And your Solution Explorer is um, it provides you with an organized view of your projects and their files. So basically, this is your first window. Here. Exactly. So you're given um, a view. So even if you add pictures or you add um, a music or file, everything comes inside the, your Solution Explorer. So please don't change the, the names of any of the pro of the properties in it or any of the um, the projects you have, because if once you change, it's gonna be a really hard task for you to fix it. But you're gonna get errors and your program won't work how it's supposed to work. So just leave everything as is, yeah, for your sake. Okay. And then um, in the properties window, we also have something called events. And the events is this lightning bolt right here. So and, and events are executions to be carried out. So uh, let me explain what that means. So for example, we want to use the event click. Right? All of these are events. So we want to use the event click. This basically means when we use the, um, the event click, once we write code and we click on our mouse, the execution um, for our code is going to be carried out. Okay, so if we use the event double click and we double click on our mouse, the um, the, ex the the code we've written will be executed once we double click. All right. So based on the e event you choose, um, by double clicking in, in the box right here, um, will be how your program is going to function. All right. And then now we also have um, this play button right here which is known as debugging the program right and if you don't have a your play button you can just go to the debugging right here and start debugging or you can just use the shortcut f5 so let's all just do that right now and basically what that does it um checks your program for any errors and checks the program for the code you've written so once you debug it it's like how, this is how your program is going to look once you decide to um, to like sell your program, for example, right? So this is how your program is gonna look. So debugging basically checks for errors. If you have any errors, it will tell you um, in this output right here. So if you have an error in your code, like you didn't write the code properly, or so on and so forth, you'll be told um, the errors you have. That's um, something that comes in handy. Visual Studio gives you that opportunity, which is very nice. So you don't have to um, search hard through your code looking for what the problem was. You can just find it in the output. And we'll, as time goes by, we'll see how that basically works. All right? Um, basically, the first video was just a walkthrough for Visual Studio, how everything works, uh, where everything is, and what we're going to be using. So basically, we know how to load a new program, what the properties, Solution Explorer, Self Explorer, and Toolbox does. And um, yeah, so stick around. There's going to be much more. Subscribe and share the video. Thank you.